Shimada doing the first defense here on the point, Blizzard World. No, it's the first attack. So Shimada finally broke through. Unfortunately, we were not able to see that offensive attack. But right out the gate, let's see what we're running with, which is pretty standard. 2-2-2 uh, two, two, two out of both teams right here. Defensive vaults coming out of Zen and Lucio. Um, pretty basic dive composition. So these are pretty on board with their meta cut. Diving in deep, trying to take control of that high ground, does not pay off, gets picked off. No straight gator dance, we got a big ultra diva coming down. A little too high, misses targets. And we got Team Shimada just moving the payload down here, but they do not have high ground, which might be an issue. Randy from behind there, picking off a couple, but I don't think Shimada's going to stop here. Dan doing a good job of continuing the pressure. Wandy missing his uh, pulse grenade here. Oof. So on Blizzard World, one of the main things that you want to be able to do is control some of this high ground. Neither team really opting for that, but the Farah does allow that height, which is good. Unfortunately, he's being contested quite a bit. But Jazzik and a new player. Ooh, wow. That was a huge kill by Nurag there. Gets the res on Randy, so uh, we've got an opportunity for Team Shimano to get blocked here, but Alt coming out of Mercy. Wandy looking for a couple. Only manages to pick up one. This backline's just getting shredded apart here. All right, I'm moving my attention away from the streaming box, taking a look at where we're at here. Do we see any, uh... I'm looking at the comp here for the first time, so bear with me. So right now, it's pretty much just been Team Shimada on a non-stop walkthrough. They haven't really contest been contested too much. They've gotten a couple picks by Blackwatch, but really hasn't been enough to really just stop the persistent damage. All coming in from D.Va. Manages to pick up Doorway. This is going to be the opportunity for them to do something. Working on this Mercy. Joseph down to 9 health, 0 health. Gets picked up by Biggs. All coming in on Zen. Might be enough. Ooh, but they got spread out again. But this Shimada team's just not going down. Doorway holding on to that alt is going to be a great tool to keep the push going here. That was a great answer on Shimada there. They really took him, took the uh, took it rest to Blackwatch down, and I thought they had the upper hand for a second. Yeah, they're having a lot of trouble dealing with this uh, but, Farah right now. She's just splitting up their attention. She's going to have another alt here. We've Biggs, got defense matrix is low. Doesn't manage to get anything. Nice kill there, but it's going to get the res right away from Joseph. We got Mora coming up in an alt there on Blackwatch. Oh, another D.Va alt. Ooh, a nice alt there hanging on the door by Doorway. Very appropriate. Not going to be enough. <laughs> Team Shimada is going to push in here and get the final kills. Really strong offensive there. We obviously jumped in midway there, but... Might have taken a little effort to take that first point, but once that came down, it was just a matter of walking the payload directly down. Team Blackwatch is going to need to put up quite an offensive streak here to contest that. Yeah, yeah, pretty basic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we got our mics and stuff. So this is the team's first week together, so a lot of times... You know, there's still that kind of working out of who's going to play what, who's strong in what positions, and what is our team going to look like. A lot of teams on the first week like to default to more of a meta composition or just play the heroes that they're most comfortable with. And we find that as the weeks go by, the teams are going to adapt to their personal style that's going to help them be successful. We also find that as teams start to practice together and coordinate, you're going to see a lot more, I guess, in sync moves. So it's not so many individuals playing, but rather, you know, the entire group. So let's see what we've got out of Team Blackwatch. They had a lot of trouble there doing a good defense. Um, Randy opting for that Farah play to be able to get some height, split up the defensive team, followed up by some real classic dive tanks, Diva and Winston. 
likely going to be running this pharmacy with the Mercy and with uh, Lucio on the ground to speed up the dive. So real classic composition here right now. I'm surprised nobody's brought out the uh, Brigitte to handle the uh, dive comp. That is true. If yeah. I was Team Shimada, I'd definitely have an eye to the to Brigitte at this point. But opting instead to run that Moira, you know, again, new hero, it's really hard to know exactly what her place is. I know we know she's good against dive, but we don't know. We haven't really seen it used yet. So Shimada opting for this much more stable composition, but Gator Dan's got to hit, make these shots on the Mercy or on the Pharah or they're going to get overrun. So let's see what, what we got here. So Shimada holding this high ground really strong, but if you notice, the Orisa Shield can't be in both spots. Totally opens it up, but right away, trying hard, picking up two. That's huge. That's the Junkrat and the heels. And they are coming in real hot right now. Big's getting another kill. This is looking like Blackwatch is just going to run this point over right now. They have really no opportunity to defend this with their entire team down. Joseph's going to try and escape. Big's with the ult to finally just push him back. And this is Team Blackwatch all day long. Wow. They really... This is an oh. aggressive first push. And he held on to his ult. Oh, they there, did not actually cap the point yet. No, most forgot so about that. that. There <laughs> they go. Important. Maybe that's that first week uh, jitter yeah. that I've heard so much about. Yeah. So anxious to get it going, they forget to actually uh, get the payload out of the garage. So, uh, looks like Team Shimada, our red team. Nice defensor by Biggs to keep him up. No shield. This could hurt. Picks and up the Zen. Just one. Got it all coming out of Sinful right here. Sinful on the back Trying end. Trying to slice and dice, getting pushed off by Frosty. Nice job to minimize some of that damage. Still manages to kind of get two if you include that Diva Mac. Still very good though. Could have been a lot more detrimental. Yeah, but look at this aggression from uh, trying hard, big, sinful, just pushing him, pushing him back. You know the downside though. You look at the payload; only one person on it. Yeah, I just noticed that. You're right. That's Man, a very uh, uh, aggressive team. Oh yeah, absolutely. If they can keep them staggered, there's just nothing they can do. Big alt out of Randy Nice there. placement, but he gets taken down. But still worth it, I think. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Picks up a couple, and he's going to get the rest from Wrist in there. Nice. Alt coming down from Zen, trying to buy some time, keeping Doorway up. I don't think it's going to be enough. They've already capped the point. Their spawn is right around the get corner back here. Back on the payload, someone. Yeah, this team has yeah. got the bloodlust for sure. Yeah. Man, you think they're playing team deathmatch with that aggressive push. You'd think so. Wandy playing as Sinful here. We've seen him on Genji a number of times. He's gonna have a big nice alt opportunity here. Here, here he it goes. goes. Look at that, great coordination there with the Diva Bomb, pushing that team into the corner, allowing him to get a ton of damage out of that sword. And Randy Doesn't with the follow up right there, very nice. Well, that's exactly in the good position there is a Genji in that tight corridor. Perfect. Doorway's trying to buy time. You know, the uh, Shimada have really got to take a second here, regroup. They're starting to trickle in here, really. It's really almost a panic alt in there by Roadhog, I think. Might have been just trying to buy a little time. That's big, though. No Diva ult to stop this. Great shots from Gator Dan nice. there. Almost picks up the Winston, just misses a couple shots. But now Shimada completely turning the tables around, pushing back wow. Blackwatch. Rez comes on Binks, but that's not gonna do much either. And they're sitting on a couple of ults as well. Looks like ult management again, going back to that. We're looking at ults on both sides of the fence, ready to go. Oh, Gator Dan opted to just pick something up there. I don't know if I Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that one, but. I wanna be careful with that, but got some defensive also. So now though, Team Shimada, or Blackwatch is gonna come in pretty hard here with a lot of alts. But then initiate with the Lucio alt there, keeping heals up. Again, and Team again. Shimada responding. 
Devault, more of a zoning opportunity there, kind of to scare the team off the payload. Yeah, Shimada really making a stand here at the end. Gator he, Dan's been on fire with this. Uh, very with well. This yeah, some good aim there. So the McCree, which is Gator Dan's uh, hero there, uh, is considered more of your hit scan character, so there's no delay or less of a delay when you're shooting at targets as opposed to a Pharah, which uh, has the rockets. Ooh, Randy, big kill on Frosty there with the boot. Wow. Pulling him in there. Doorway's got his ult. Is he gonna Isn't going to have time to use it. Blackwatch, though, takes a huge chunk out of it. Wow. But, you know, look at that time. You know, that time that Shimada bought with that defense is going to be enough to put him at the advantage, even if they don't touch mm -hmm. the payload for the rest of the game. Just under three minutes now. We got two minutes, 40 seconds left on the clock. Joseph got an opportunity to do something here. His ult comes down. Shimada making a major stand here, pushing him back. Even with that ult from Lucio, I don't think it's going to be enough here. Don't know why it's invisible. I don't know either. Joseph trying to take, chase down that Pharah. It's going to be a challenge. Close respawns, though, means that Blackwatch is going to need to fall back and reconsider. Get a pick on Frosty here. Could be big. Shimada's holding pretty well right there. You see Randy kind of hovering, weaving in and out of the buildings there. Is that Farah using the environment? And he's got his ult up ready to go here. Let's see what yeah. he can do. I figured he was kind of looking for an opportunity here between the between the building. Ooh, ult coming down there. Very aggressive. He's waiting for that defense matrix to drop. It does. Frosty's though on him. Oh, even trades on both sides. We got both divas going, and they got to pick up Diva anybody. Alts. No one dies though. Gator Dan Nobody. though picks up some kills. Wrist and sneaks in a res, cost him his life. Biggs on doorway manages to pick him up. Blackwatch is making a run for it right now, but again, those close respawns are going to make it really challenging to close this point out. They got to wow. make a strong push to clear him out, and it's just not happening. We're down a minute twenty on the clock. Baby Diva Biggs picking up tons of work on that. <laughs> on those uh he's evening it out both divas out of mech right now well one's gone now thanks to randy all coming down so much healing shimada pushes it back i don't know if Blackwatch is going to be able to pick this back up or not yeah this is a very i don't know if you saw that tracer all went off on uh winston there very well played again that's gator dan switching Notice the switch in heroes there at the very end. We've talked about from time to time. If you need to switch, you can, but if you switch too much, it's a detriment. But I think uh, Gator Dan made a good choice there. This is the opportunity for Blackwatch to get a w to win the point right now. Look at those alts. If Base Bear gets his sound barrier up before they engage, it's going to be a real challenge to to take this point. There it He's goes. got a little bit of time here. If they can pick up that Lucio, they're going to be in great shape. Alts coming down, picking up a couple. Base Bear manages to get his ult, pops it off. Diva ult is going to pick up pick Sinful. Pick up Sinful. Big. And let's see how this plays out. Shimada, though, getting those respawns. Unless that Diva ult's fat, which it's not. This is looking like Shimada's going to be taking point number one. Well, stopping him from uh, running all the way back. Yeah, very nice. This was not looking like this in the beginning. Blackwatch had a huge, just aggressive opening. They weren't able to seal it up at the end here. Still holding on. It's going to be nearly impossible for them to lose this one. As Shimada picks up game number one. All right. Very nice. Let's see who gets that uh, play Gator of the game. Dan. Gator Let's Dan. Very nice. That was, no, that's awesome. That's pretty good. That's very nice. Lots of damage coming out there. Um, hold on. Oh, yeah, we'll answer your question. He's over here somewhere, so you just got to ask. Hey, wait, is that it? Gator Dan over there in the corner? Which one's that? Right there. All right. All right. So, we're gonna so the first game.
All right, there we go. Now we got Mike input. All right. All right. So the first game is in the books for season five. Going to Team Shimada. What did you see? What was impressive? Uh, I was impressed with Gator Dan the most. Uh, probably just because of the precise aiming, and I'm a big DPS guy, so that was impressive. But also there was a number of D.Va plays as well, which I thought were really good. Not only just offensive, but just zoning. So you had some zoning D.Va alts, kind of push the team away away from the payload or just make some space for your own team. And that was on both sides. So that was Biggs and uh, Doorknob, one of our both veteran players, to, uh, to Overwatch Chicago, both in the tournament play and in our uh, regular season play. So... We are already ready to go for game number two at Lijong. Let's see what the teams have